Hello guys, Chris here. welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm gonna be testing a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti in The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. This one is the Asus ROG Strix version of the card. I am running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers, which it still supports even nine years later. That's pretty crazy. And you can see that I am overclocking it a little bit over here because, well, I guess it needs some help. It's nine years old after all, right? You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Up's GPUs we got 4GB of GDDR5 in this card, and over on the left I am pairing it with the i5 12600KF CPU and 32GB of RAM. Overkill specs, but it's just so we don't bottleneck it. Let's go over the settings now, I'm starting at 1080p resolution, utilizing no anti-aliasing, no upscaling, no frame generation, but we'll take a look at those in a moment. And the lowest settings here, aside from this one, which I will now set to the lowest as well. So, what what can the 1050 Ti do here? Well, yeah, barely 30 F. Actually, no, it's not even 30 F. Yes, it's 20s most of the time here in this forest area. 30s now, that's not too terrible, all right. But these lowest settings are looking really bad right now, actually. <laughs> like, with the RTX 5090, I also set it to the lowest settings possible, but it still kept some textures looking quite decent. But here with the 1050 Ti, most of the textures don't look decent whatsoever. I think it's probably because of the 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Maybe just like the first game, you know, it is dynamically adjusting the textures a little bit whenever you have really low amounts of VRAM, and that's why it ends up looking pretty terrible. To be expected from lowest settings possible, of course, but I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit worse than it should be. But also, guys, for very low settings, I think it should have scaled back the uh, grass a little bit and the details, like the objects on screen and so on, LOD as well, maybe, because these are not looking like very low settings to me. The lighting still looks great, the shadows still look good, although the shadow popping is definitely very noticeable right now, and there is still a heck of a lot of grass, as you can see. So, <laughs> yeah, if we could, like, remove the grass or most of it, maybe with the 1050 Ti, you know, it would probably likely have been playable, you know? Uh, but as it stands, this is just way too much for this little GPU, unfortunately. We'll need to mess around with a couple of settings here. So, frame gen, uh, you could enable it, yes, but it's not a good idea with 20-something FPS baseline because input lag will be absolutely insane. And we have FSR 3.1 as well as XCSS. So let's do FSR 3. I'm going to do quality, which upscales from 720p. I'm going to adjust the sharpening a little bit here. And instead of getting like, what, 26, which is what, what, what we were getting here, we're getting 28. So FPS aren't improving much with FSR enabled, unfortunately, on the GTX 1050 Ti, guys. Probably because it's running out of VRAM, so there's not much performance to be gained by lowering down the resolution, unless it actually ends up not being VRAM limited. Uh, so yeah, we still end up with 22, 23 frames per second, 25. In terms of the visual fidelity of FSR, it's actually not half bad here. FSR 3.1 is doing a decent job in this particular title, as far as I can tell. Um, it's a little bit softer, of course, because previously we were playing at native 1080p and we didn't have any anti-aliasing enabled whatsoever, which is very nice in this game. It allows you to disable that crappy TAA altogether. I like it. So that means that when you enable FSR 3, to some people it might actually look better because it gets rid of the aliasing that we were seeing before. But in my opinion, it still has some issues here, especially moving through the grass like this and moving the camera around as well. I can see a lot of noise. Hi Roach, how's it going? Uh, did you really need to do that? I, I, he loves us. <sighs> it's FSR, what can I say? Like 3.1 sometimes in some games looks really good and it's a good improvement over 3.0, but where the biggest jump in visual quality from FSR is, is in FSR 4, which I haven't tested yet because I don't have a 9000 series GPU yet, but I hope that I can actually get my hands on it quickly. Yeah. At least AMD actually contacted sure me saying it. that maybe they'll have some. I don't know yet, but we'll see. It's still not amazing, but in this area, for example, looking at this wall, 
it's actually getting 30 plus frames per second. So outside of that dense forest area, it can get a little bit better, 30s, uh, high 30s at times. So it's starting to almost get playable, but there is a lot of frame time issues, guys. Like that frame time is not flat, even though it looks like it is flat, moving the camera around shows a lot of stuttering, micro stuttering happening. It's just not a smooth feel whatsoever, even at 30 FPS. Usually 30 FPS would feel a little bit better than this, basically. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of a shame here. What about like performance FSR? Let's check it out. Also, I'm not playing through the game at the moment, just checking out this area here because Honestly, I don't want to play the game with 30 plus FPS or 30 less than 30 FPS sometimes. I'll need to venture out in the wilderness again because that's where it dropped the most and see the lowest FPS inside of here. I'm also going to go to the downtown area in just a little bit, which is back there. Uh, that usually is more CPU bound from what I've seen with the 5090. So with the 1050 Ti, it could actually perform better there because, well, we got a plenty of headroom on that 12600KF, of course. Um, and it's less GPU intensive, I guess, over there as well. So performance FSR at 1080p resolution. <sighs> I mean, it, it's not the worst looking thing in the world, honestly. It's upscaling from 540p resolution. And now even in this area right here, which it dropped to 23 frames per second previously, it only drops to 28, 27, 26, oh my God, 25. Ah. <sighs> So, if you have a 1050 Ti, don't play this game, <laughs> alright? Don't buy it. It's not worth it to have this performance and these low uh, resolutions as well at the same time. And we still need to go lower, apparently. <laughs> Definitely not ideal here. And it's a little bit of a shame because the game is Steam Deck verified, so it actually supposedly runs well on Steam Deck. And the Steam Deck's GPU is actually slower than 1050 Ti, so I'm not sure what they got going on there. Maybe performance FSR or like balanced FSR at 720p or 800p, which is the resolution from the Steam Deck, will work just fine on that iGPU from the Steam Deck. I don't know, and it will still look okay on a small monitor. But yeah, on the 1050 Ti, things are definitely pretty rough. Okay, so now we are in that downtown area getting 100% GPU utilization because, again, it's not going to get CPU bound with a 1050 Ti and a 12600KF CPU. It's getting some stutters still. VRAM is maxed out. The RAM usage is a little bit higher than it should be, so it already swapped some things that should be on VRAM into the RAM and uh, it causes it to run just slower, of course. And again, we're still seeing a lot of micro stutters, a lot of instability. Damn, that was a big one. Uh, that was definitely not a micro stutter. It was a macro stutter. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go here. Lots of noise as well around the characters there. Jeez, that's really terrible looking, guys. All right. So even though the FPS are somewhat decent right now at 30 plus, it is not going to be a good looking experience. It is not a smooth one either because it has a lot of frame time spikes and stuttering. Oh boy. 40s. But yeah, this is definitely quite a bit less intensive than that forest area on the GPU side of things. Uh, can we actually enter through there? Maybe? Not sure. Not sure. I'll need to find out actually because I still haven't passed or haven't played through this oh my god what happened there is it because roach is afraid of this what no way is, is it the water down there whoa that's crazy okay and over here 25 ram usage actually went down look at that 14 and a half gigabytes of usage there or allocation but yeah in some areas there there are just insane slowdowns where it makes things completely unplayable and not enjoyable whatsoever. I still haven't given up, my friends. Let's do 720p resolution and uh, let's do native as well. Turn off FSR first and turn off the anti-aliasing. Minimum settings. I'll actually need to lower the resolution inside of Windows as well because of how this game works with the resolutions and lower this down as well. So here we go. This is 720p, minimum settings, no upscalers being utilized, native resolution. And here... We're getting 30s and 40s, 
It looks super pixelated at the moment, super shimmery as well. So it will take, oh my God, no. Uh, it still drops like crazy in this area for some reason. This is so weird. And over here, looking back as well, 20s. I don't think this has the bandwidth to do this at 30 plus FPS all of the time, guys. But I guess it's maybe not an absolutely terrible experience. I think the Last of Us Part 1 was performing a little bit worse at release than this is at the moment on the 1050 Ti. So, yeah, there's that, guys. And they actually improved on that. So if this game gets a few patches, it might actually become playable on the 1050 Ti, especially at 720p resolution. It's not too terrible at the moment. Let's see what we can find. Oh, I can definitely read that. Yes, beautiful. So we'll need to enable subtitles, I guess, in this one. I also can't hear what they're saying over my voice when I'm talking. So yeah, because I, I hear my voice when I'm recording, by the way. It's really weird for the first few times you do it, but then it's way better when you hear your voice. I guess it's going to be playable. 42 FPS average isn't too terrible, but then there are those areas where it just runs like crap. Like, for example, over here, sometimes. Yeah. And look in this direction as well, 31 frames per second. And maybe in the other area as well. Let's check it out. Yeah, around here, 30s, 40s. Very similar to what we were seeing at 1080p, but now it's actually stuttering less than it did at 1080p. At least in this area, we saw a lot more little frame time spikes, you know, micro stutters. And now it's a little bit more stable. That was a macro stutter there. Uh, those are not the ones that I'm talking about. Those will happen from time to time. Once again, with a four gigabyte GPU. Um, but most of the time, it's more stable than your average UE5 title, so... It is awful, however, if you put it side by side with the PS4, because the 1050 Ti is a little bit faster than the GPU inside of the PS4. But obviously this is PC gaming in 2025, so I'm not really expecting a console port to perform as it should. And in the grand scheme of things, I think it's not a terribly optimized title. And if you have something semi-modern, like a, an RTX 2060, for example, it will run really, really well. So yeah, anyway, it actually did dip down into the 20s briefly there, near the water and the cars and stuff. So 1% lows are at 27 at the moment, but this is actually a little bit more stable than inside of the downtown area, where it dropped a little bit um, with that huge slowdown, you know, the 12 FPS for some reason. So yeah... Is it playable? I guess, technically speaking, it is playable, but it's lowest settings, 720p resolution, and if you want 30 plus all of the time, maybe even with FSR on quality. <laughs> so it's not good. It's playable, but it's not good, and I cannot recommend this at all. And holy crap, this looks really bad right now. <laughs> oh my. So enabling FSR here at 720p resolution made it look super soft. And it's also really pixelated at the same time, especially when the sun is hitting right and you can actually see that pixelation around the character. You do gain a, a few FPS extra, of course. So I guess if you have a 7-inch screen, it will look decent. But on my 27-inch 1080p monitor that I'm using right now, this is super blurry. It's... Too blurry to the point where I'd say it's now playable in terms of FPS, but it's kind of unplayable in terms of visuals. So yeah, this is what it takes for you to get 30 plus FPS all of the time on a 1050 Ti. I, I don't recommend it whatsoever, and I don't want to play like this anymore. <laughs> Well, you know what? Let's let's play a little bit of the story, I guess, if I can. I'm not really sure what to do at this point. Uh... Are there some hints in the game? I would really like to have some hints in the game. Also, my inner thoughts got to me and I need to go back here and check it out. <laughs> Will it have that massive drop? Yes. Oh my, God. look at that. What the hell, dude? Why does this happen? Roach, tell me, why does this happen? I'm so confused. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, over there. Of course, of course, the ladder. I totally forgot about that. Let's go up the ladder. Come on, Ellie, please. Oh, there we go. I was pressing E because sometimes you gotta press E to climb ladders. Other times you gotta press space to climb ladders. It's weird. We can actually open this. There's ammo. Yes, revolver ammo. 
convenient. I haven't seen revolver ammo so far. Let's go. All right. Fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want this. How did... Oh, no. Did... Yeah, she definitely heard the window closing. Um, okay, let me grab this. There's Bob over there. <laughs> or a friend of Bob. That, yes, Bob's girlfriend, maybe? No, this is Bob, definitely. Nope, no, nope, I didn't make noise. I didn't make noise. No, no. Come on, lady, help me. Why aren't you helping me? God damn it, you stop it. Stop it. Bob, you bastard! You gotta die! You gotta die, Bob! Drop. Come on! Oh my gosh! More of them! Way more of them! Okay, okay, this is bad. This is so bad. Oh, I almost headshotted my girl over there. Come on, come on. Alright, there we go. I helped. No! I'm low HP! I'm low HP! With Bob's girlfriend right here. And we got him. Her, actually, yes. Oh boy, okay, this is getting way more interesting now. <laughs> All right, we almost died, but now we're fine, guys. We're good, we're good. Let's keep on going here. No major slowdowns. That's nice. So again, it's going to be playable if you can enjoy a game with minimum settings, which don't look too bad, in my opinion, at all. The main issue that I have with it is just the resolution and the upscaler that we're utilizing. It doesn't look good. Oh, how about XESS, actually? Maybe we can make that look great. Should we do ultra quality? Yeah, let's try ultra quality XESS. Seems to be getting pretty much the same FPS as quality FSR here. I'm not sure if I like it more, guys. It's definitely less pixelated, but it's more smudgy. So <laughs> you trade off the pixelation and a little bit of sharpness to just a smudgy look. Look at that. Really plasticky look. It's just, it's like clay. Everything is clay right now. Yes, that's exactly it. <laughs> so it's either way, you're trading off a lot of resolution here by using the upscalers, but it's needed for you to achieve good FPS as we know. Uh, so far, of course. Is there something inside of this? I would like to see that. Maybe there's like an M4 or something, an AK-47. That would be awesome to have, but nope. We cannot really loot that, unfortunately. Uh, nothing around here. A little bit dizzy, actually. <laughs> I, I feel. I get a feeling that Bob is somewhere around here. Actually, no, that's not Bob. Those were Bob's friends, right? Because the Bob one is the huge mushroom-headed guy from the first game. Oh my. Nope. No, no, no. Please. No. No, no. No. Come. God! Machete time! Machete time! Machete time! Let's go! Let's do this. Okay. One down. Two down, I guess. Yes. And this one. Bob's girlfriend. Goodbye. There we go. Oh boy. Okay, let's find that gas. Gas is right here. Oh, we got some more ammo. Very conveniently placed. Why? <laughs> and more over here. No, this is not. This is just a brick. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, so there's the gas over there. I guess that's what we came for. Grab that. Yes. There we go. Also, temperature is 21.3 degrees Celsius. And at the start of this video, it was... 21.6 I believe because I finished the RTX 5090 video before I started recording this one and uh, yeah so it's going down a little bit <laughs> interesting right yeah the the 1050 Ti is 50 watts is not enough to make my room um, hotter basically or warmer let's go outside 60 FPS average 1% lows of 44 so in this scenario inside of this building it was actually pretty decent right yeah. It's just that in some specific areas, it will be really, really bad. So yeah, guys, I guess that's probably about it. I don't want to play this game anymore with these graphics, honestly. It's not that enjoyable to me. <laughs> Although, now you know, if you do have the 1050 Ti with a decent processor, you can actually play the game. It's not going to be an amazing experience, but it's 
a playable one. It just looks like crap, basically. Uh, so there's that. Thanks very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.